Hello! Welcome to a very tiny unboxing. Uh, it's my third one that I've done from Century Press. It's certainly not going to be my last. Little tiny books of beautiful handmade publications. Nice little tear tab on the back, similar to the previous two titles. This, my friends, is the Call of the Wild, wild, wild Call of the Wild by Jack London. Turn of the century novel. I think it was what 1903. Very tiny, short novel, which makes it fitting to get the Century Press uh, treatment here. Get a little tissue paper wrapper. Very excited for this one. Uh, their first two titles were The Sun Also... Well, The Great Gatsby was the first one, and The Sun Also Rises by Hemingway was the second one. Here we have The Call of the Wild. Very tiny. There's my hand for comparison. Very, very tiny book. Uh, Mac Pogue did a little illustration that's stamped on the cover and on the spine. Let's say London there. There we go. And on the back. See, so silver stamped. This is fully bound in uh, goatskin leather. I'm going to smell it real quick because, oh, one of the nicest smelling books I own. It's kind of weird to smell your books, but if you buy any of these Century Press titles, maybe not The Great Gatsby. That one was recycled leather from, like, fashion leather. But uh, The Sun Also Rises is the best smelling book in my collection. It's a weird thing to say, but I'm going to stand by it. Call of the Wild, very close second. Uh, so this is printed, nice little plain end papers. I mean, the white, they do have a nice little texture to them. Uh, there were three users selected at random who pre-ordered on the first day who got custom uh, end papers. They look stunning. The whole thing is printed on 100% recycled cotton paper. Uh, and it's printed letterpress on a Heidelberg press. So uh, it is printed in two colors throughout. You can see the, the Call of the Wild there in blue, everything else in black. It has an introduction by Jonah Raskin, who is a historian and expert on Jack London. Original cover art by Mac Pogue. And illustrations inside by Calvin Latori. Latori. So very nice stamping with the letterpress. You can Feel the text jumping right off. You can see, if you can see it pressing through there. Uh, these are signed. Not signed. These are numbered. This is number 160 to match my other two copies, my other two books. So thank you very much for matching that number. Very, very nice. There is the, the statistics. There's your stats. Publication information. Print a letterpress on 100% cotton flurry paper from 1956 Heidelberg Windmill Plantain Press by Ian Bristol. In Cornwall, Ontario, bound in full grain leather from an all natural pasture based ghost from a Texas family farm. Goat skins were tanned with a proprietary blend of non toxic vegetable tannins by Pergamina in Montgomery, New York. Very nice. Uh, so it's all well, the pages are sewn together in 1905 Smythe National Book Sewing Machine. That is awesome. So it's a very short novel about Buck, nice little home dog, uh, who is stolen off it from his home. Look at that with the. That's cool. The snowflakes. He's stolen off his home and sold to a sled team because, you know, sled teams are big in the Yukon. You need some Alaskan, uh, Alaskan uh, sled dogs. And the story follows Buck as he learns to forgo his uh, domesticated ways and, be and heed the call of the wild. The weather was steadily growing colder. Letter pressed illustrations. So cool. <clears throat> so it's a very short novel. It's been adapted into several films. There's Buck fighting off... Uh, oh, God, what was the other dog's name? He fights to become the top dog. Top dog. I want to say Stig, but Stig was from the video game Armed and Dangerous, so it's not Stig. I'm, I'm doubling down on Stig. From the forest came the call. Very nice illustrations. Uh, so this was because of the illustrations. From the forest came the call. I have bonus pages! I think we almost have bonus pages. Look at that. So I got page 95. And then I jump to from the sound. Look at that. 95. Oh, this one's not even in. Oh! Okay. Anybody else get that? 95, 96, 97, 98. Very cool. And then, bonus illustration. Bonus little 
a sheet of paper. How about that? Including the illustration, which is awesome because I might fold this backwards and I could frame that. Frame that little page. That's really cool. Anybody else get some bonus pages? Is anybody else missing this page? Did I get somebody's page? Very cool. Anyways, like I said, just barely over 100 pages. Very short novel. Uh, the shortest of the three novels that uh, Century Press have done, but also the most expensive. Uh, we got the interior illustrations. We've got the uh, beautiful two-color printing. I'm just going to flip that over there. Look at that. Good as new. I could frame that, that, frame that puppy. No pun intended because they're dogs. The most expensive of the publications, but you can definitely feel it uh, in the book itself. Uh, maybe, and this is Canadian dollars too, so if you're in the United States like I am, you save a little bit of money. So it's, uh, I mean, a little comparable to uh, price-wise to a Suntup Artist Edition these days, but you are getting the full goatskin leather binding, you are getting the letterpress pages, you are getting two-tone uh, inks used throughout. Just a nice little publication. Very excited to see what they're working on next. Uh, hopefully the price prices don't continue to jump up, or else I might not be able to keep supporting them. But I'm going to try for as long as I can. Like I said, they're very small books, fit in the palm of your hand. And uh, maybe that's a criticism, if you want uh, to criticize based on the size. But I think they're very enjoyable. They look really nice in the library, even if the other books are towering over them. And boy, oh boy, do they smell great. I mean, you're going to have some slight imperfections in the leather, such as... A little mark there. But that's just, you know, that's what happens when you work with real leather. So anyways, check out Century Press. Uh, this is back up to full price. It was $50 off during the pre-order period. But that's a great reason for you to subscribe to their newsletter so you can try to get any pre-order discounts off their future titles. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And we will see you around next time.